Okay, I wanted to show you how to fill out one of these tables. All right, uh, the first thing is uh, the table is going to give you a clue, and you can use that to help you fill out the rest of it. So C, you could look up on the periodic table and find that the name, uh, when, you, when you get that, is carbon. So you could write carbon right there. And the dash, that's the mass number, but that's the name, so you could call it carbon 14 but that number right there is also the mass number so we know that that's 14 then you could look at the periodic table and find the atomic number and for carbons that's six and remember that the atomic number is always equal to the number of protons so that's also six and the protons will always equal the number of electrons as long as it's an atom a neutral atom so that is also six now, to do the neutrons, you have to remember this formula, that the protons plus the neutrons will equal the mass number. So, 6 plus what number equals 14? That has to be 8. Okay, that one's done. Okay, let's go to this one. Okay, this one gives you the number of protons, are 3, so then we know the atomic number also has to be 3. And if you look up the element, we know that it's lithium, okay? So we know that for right now, okay? Now, the protons and the electrons are going to be the same, and the protons plus the neutrons will equal the mass number 7. 3 plus 4 is 7, okay? Protons plus neutrons, so I guess I'm adding those together. That gives me 7. Okay, that's the mass number, so I know it's lithium-7. And so then I could write lithium-7. All right, here on this next one, we're given the atomic number as number 5. And so if you look up on the periodic table and you find the element that's number 5, it ends up being boron. So we can put a B there. All right. And we know that the atomic number and the protons are always the same. And the electrons will always equal the protons if it's a neutral atom. And then we can figure out the neutrons because the mass number is 11. So 5 plus what number equals 11? That would be 6. And so this one is named boron 11. Remember the number is the, is the same as the mass number. So it's called boron uh, 11. All right, this one right here, it gives us the electrons and the neutrons, but we have to use the electrons first to find the protons, and they're going to be the same number as long as it's a neutral atom, and then we know the atomic number also. Okay, now the next thing is we can get the mass number by adding together the protons plus the neutrons, so 10 plus 12 is 22. Now we can look up on the periodic table, atomic number 10, and that happens to be neon. So we'll, we know it's neon-22, and then the name is neon-22. Okay, that's how to fill out one of those tables. That's it.